Ben and Bell, I love this story. An Aussie mum and ABC journo Kirsten Drysdale did the unthinkable and named their newborn baby boy Methamphetamine Rules. Not, <laughs> not joking. Uh, you did hear that right. Uh, they named their son Methamphetamine Rules. Uh, let's find out why. Kirsten joins us now. Uh, first of all, Kirsten, how is little Meth doing? Oh, hi. Um, yeah, he's really good. He's actually snoozing at the moment, so I'm hoping he doesn't wake up while we're talking. <laughs> how old uh, is little Meth? He's eight weeks now. Nice. Nice. Rare, rare to sleep on methamphetamines as well. So, <laughs> I, I, Yeah, he's really not living up to his name at the moment. <laughs> too chill. Too so, chill. Kirsten, tell us, why did you do this? <laughs> All in the name of journalism, I swear. Um, uh, it's for a new show at uh, the ABC, What the FAQ. Please watch it on iView. We will do whatever it takes to answer our viewers' questions. Uh, although I am rethinking that now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we we had a question about uh, what you can... Are there any things you can't legally call your baby? Mm. Uh, so we did a, you know, very responsible little segment outlining all the legislation and what the rules are. And we discovered that if people submit a name that's not allowed, mm. the registrar may assign a name. So that's like some public servant at the birth, death and marriages office. Mm-hmm. Um, and we just wanted to find out how they choose a name. Um, if they have to name a baby. Mm. Uh, And so we thought, oh, well, we'll submit a name that we know for sure will be rejected and then that will force them to suggest a name for us. Mm -hmm. But um, unfortunately, they didn't reject (laughs) methamphetamine rules. So now that's what's on the birth certificate. So someone, I mean, someone's smoozing on the job there, right? Like I'm surely they would have some... Maybe some hot words if it's like Adolf or something like that, or yeah. like some things that are like, oh no, you know, questionable. We're not, we're not calling it that. But I mean, for Ooh. someone to just be like, yeah, methamphetamine rules, that's fine. Probably like a religious thing. We'll just let him name that. <laughs> oh, okay, I know. So, like you said, it's all in the name of journalism. So were you just you happen to be obviously heavily pregnant, and did you just put yeah. your name up and say your hand up and say, yep, I'll do it. I'll put my kid up, and you didn't yeah. think that it would actually get through. So where to now? So now, fortunately, uh, the registry have uh, been pretty good about this and have acknowledged it shouldn't have happened. Yes. Um, We still don't know exactly how it happened, but just that it shouldn't have. (laughs) And so we're working with them to uh, process a correction, um, which is a slightly different thing to a change of name because change of name um, leaves the original name on the bottom of your thing, you know, like a kind of used to be known as. Mm -hmm. Uh, So this way there won't be any trace of it on. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be I was going to say that, Kirsten, because at the moment I've also, I've got a seven-week-old and I'm in the process of trying to get him a passport and when you're filling out the forms, the first question is, what's his name? And you fill it out. But then the second question is, what's his name on his official birth certificate at birth? So I was thinking you're going to have to write methamphetamine rules for the rest of your life, but you're saying they're doing a correction. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Fortunately, yes. But are you going to tell him when he's a kid and growing up, are you going to tell him this story or do you want to bury it? No, I will tell him about this because he. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I am sure somebody else will tell him about it if we don't. Mm. So, what, um, is, what is Little Mess' actual name going to be? Oh, we're not we're not going public with his real name because okay. I'm just trying to keep him a little yeah. bit protected That's from That's fair. It. Yeah, um, yeah, but yeah. it's not meth. But it's not. It's cocaine meth, rules. Right? <laughs> it's, not, it's not bongs. It's not. <laughs> it's a totally traditional, beautiful little boy's name. Beautiful. I promise. Oh, okay. Love it. I just I know how some countries can be when you're going through customs, and if it's like a previous declared name, like mm. good luck getting into Bali uh, when you, your name is methamphetamine. Rules. You might be able to answer that for us, actually. So, and I said this on the show when um, my son was first born seven weeks ago that the we shared a hospital room, and the couple next to us didn't have a name for their baby yet and the midwife said and I thought that she was mucking around but she said you have I think 60 days to name yeah. your baby otherwise the, the the birth death and marriages will name it for you so that's true that is true yep yep it's yeah I think it's 60 days that's in New South Wales it might probably the same across all the states wow. and do you have and sorry obviously this was all an experiment to see what they would name a child given the chance do you know what they would name it do you have any examples no, we didn't even get to the bottom of it. They still they still didn't answer us. I heard 
so from someone in Victoria who used to work at the registry there. Yeah. And the way they chose a name was they picked something from the top five most popular boys or girls' names yeah. from that oh. year. Yeah, so right. you probably just got another Oliver or Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> That's two names from Belle's list, I know for a fact. Well, they're, she, they're you should have, names, I'm sorry, yeah. Kirsten, she just winced. You've taken her baby's <laughs> names and <laughs> turned them into normie names. I'm basic. No man. shade on those names. They're popular for a reason. <laughs> exactly. Well, Kirsten, you are just the prime example of doing everything for your job. Uh, I mean, look, as as horrible as it is, congratulations because you did it and I must you admit, made a point. I love someone who commits to the bit. I wish little Freddie Harvey was called Fresh Hits and Throwbacks or something like that for like a, a Nova promotion. <laughs> pay your bills, Harvey. Pay, pay your bills, Harvey. Uh, but unfortunately, Ben didn't go for that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much and we wish you all the best for your unnamed son that you, you're keeping private. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on.